Hi, Super Spruce here, back with our Inside Adventures New Game Plus 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 video. It was 207, and yeah, I have way too many runes. You can just see like 34 billion to 43 trillion, 18 million to 16 billion. Yeah, you know this is going to be insane. And, you know, like even if I do this, it's limited by eternity while Sonic runes. So, this means that I can actually do, I can just do this. Put all of them into here, and I'll barely put a dent into this. So this means that, yeah, my oscillation speed is going to be much, much, much faster. I'm not even sure what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I'm just gaining anti -preons. I guess I'll just do a little bit of this so I can just gain a little bit of bosonic battery. And then I guess I'm just going to dump all of this because I, I can do that. And, yeah, this means my oscillation speed is probably going to be completely OP. I should probably even get some levels of this, just get more runes per second, because this is kind of hitting its limit. I can also try to, yeah, I can get more balsonic battery this way, so this is about a five times gain in balsonic battery. I get some levels of this, not really going to do much, and I think really what, I, what I'm just going to go for is, well, oscillation, because... I have a non alien Z bosons, and even with like weeks of grinding oscillations, yeah, it's I'm I'm getting even more. But I think the even more OP part is oh my god, oh my god, that's like three orders of magnitude of W plus and minus bosons, and it's enough that I can okay not all the way to the max, but I can I can I can get I can get overdrive all the way to like three okay not three times. I can't do that, but I guess I can do this, and you can just see how, oh my god, this is, this is insane. This is going to be insane, because once all of these bosons, I'm actually, once all these run out, well, first of all, oscillation speed is going to be much faster, E33 Z bosons, but also the runes are going to be so much faster. Well, theoretically so much faster, because I need more levels of this, which is annoying how I need to keep getting more levels. I could be getting 88 billion per second, but no, I'm getting um, 8 billion per second. So I need to grind that out. I guess while I'm, I'm doing that, while I grind these runes, I can do other things like, you know, not just go into Big Rip, but, you know, Photons, 68 ultraviolet light. That's enough for definitely two light empowerments right there. And I think that, like, gets up to the last new boost, which, isn't it up to 25 rewards? Yeah, or not 25 rewards, but Light Empowerment 25. So, I, I'm going to go into Big Rip. I forgot to go into Nano Field and Tree of Decay because, yeah, I totally forgot about those mechanics. And 18 Radioactive Decays before we just, yeah, I'm just going to Ghostify here. I think I think that's what you do before. <laughs> Um, photons because that like yeah because it become you become a ghost so of course I'm gonna go for the ghost particles first I can get a couple of these upgrades they don't really do much but I guess they'll, they do something so I'm gonna become a ghost I just got a achievement where is it this one get e77 ghostifies and then the reward is ghostifies boost the gain of ghost particles at a reduced rate that's pretty nice I can get a bunch of I can get more ghost particles that way and yeah, just get this and this. So, boom, 25 light empowerments. And I think I saw another achievement pop up. So, it has to has to be something. This one. Reach 25 light empowerments. And the reward is you always have the 12th Bosonic upgrade. That's pretty nice because that means I can get all the new boosts from the light empowerments. I'm not even sure which one is the new one. I'm trying to think. Maybe it's this one. Maybe it's this green one. Perhaps. I'm really not sure, but I'm, I'm going to go into Big Rip so I can, you know, do stuff in it and then just go out of Big Rip and then go back into Big Rip and then check on my runes um, here because I can now I can now start getting this up to it's now up to 20 billion. I guess I could just use a faster overdrive speed to help speed up this process of getting this up to 100 billion per second. And... Let's see. It doesn't really look like there's much outside of Big Rip, but I think once I get back into Big Rip, I'd probably even be able to get more Ghost Party. Yeah, 
E1776 ghost particles. And more tachyon particles as well. So, yeah, I guess we're just going to do another ghost of I because why not? Actually, first do this. This could actually help. Back up to 18 radioactive decays. That's crazy. And I guess, well, I'm, I'm forgetting to get these upgrades, but they do nothing. Like, I would be at 1778 rather than 1777. <laughs> That's literally it. And 126 rewards, 16 radioactive decays, just go out of big rip and then back into it in like 5 seconds and I'll be able to get like 134 rewards or something. Uh, okay, that's not as much as I thought, but 18 radioactive decays. I think that's a little more important. Can you even get E1793 ghost particles from from Ghost of I, but it's not all that important. And also, I'm finally back up to max runes per second. So, I don't really think it's doing actually all that much. Like, even with, I guess, with E35 bosonic runes, I could easily, yeah, just buff this a whole bunch and... I mean, I don't think it's really going to do much. I mean, I, I am getting more balsonic antimatter. I guess that's important. I'm at E48. I probably should get a whole bunch of levels of this. Because, like, I can get 5 million levels of this, which will hopefully... I can reset balsonic labs for 4 higs, but, well, I'm not even using it. If I do use it, it would be 5 higs. So that's actually not great. But it I guess it's something. And I'm... I, would, I really wish you could just put half of your runes into something, because I want to put, like, half of my quantum balsonic runes, or even just 90% of them, into here. I mean, I guess these are going to be so high that not much I can do, but maybe this will do something... Okay, it's 4.5. I doubled my, my balsonic antimatter. Hooray. That's, like, nothing. But I, I, there's not many other ways to spend these runes, so I guess I'll just do that. And I guess I'll just max this as well, because I'm going to need to get more and more runes per second. I'm going to go back into Big Rip so I can try to get some more Nanofield rewards. Yeah, 134. It's like the standard now. And it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get more than 18 radioactive decays. But I think, I really feel like I have reached a good point. Maybe I want to get more Bosonic Antimatter. Maybe I should just, you know, I should probably just max this right now. Because what this is going to do is if I get, it's going to get up to six. That's, okay, it's a single Higgs boson. That's not the greatest thing ever. Well, okay, I, I can finally get this going again. So now if I, I can start getting a ton of runes again. I don't think it really is going to do much. Just because these levels are so high... I mean, well, first I need to get this back up to the standard, which is now 1.5 trillion per second. Yay, it's annoying to do this. I I wish that this, uh, this enchant was stronger. I feel like, I mean, I guess it's like there to limit your progression, but it feels like an arbitrary limit to progression rather than a natural one. So, yeah, that's something that I... Wish was not really in the game, but anyway, I can I can get I can now get enough runes to. Well, am I gonna make a sizable dent in any of these upgrades? I guess this one, um, it's doing something, but uh, actually that's not. I wouldn't call that a sizable dent by any means. I mean, I guess if I had this grinding for hours, it would be able to produce a large dent, but really, it's really not much I can do at this point. I mean, I guess I can keep grinding the bosons, but I'm not exactly sure how many Higgs I'm going to want. Is 20 going to be enough? Because previously, I've basically doubled my Higgs every time. Now, I'm settling for less than 50% more. And the Higgs bosons, well, it's very interesting. Maybe I I feel like I could try to just like re reset now, but at the same time, I feel like I don't want to do that. I mean, if I could try to get this upgrade. The runes are now no problem here. And it's E50 bosonic antimatter. But I feel like with this, with what I have right now, I mean, I don't think I can reach E50. You can see that I'm just re I'm really soft-capped right now. 
if, if I wasn't soft capped, I would be getting instead of six E42 balsamic antimatter, I'd be getting about four E48, which is basically the amount I have, like every second. So maybe that does something. Maybe I should try to just go reset my pigs. I mean, I guess I can max this just to see. And I guess I can just I can just use up all the remaining um, ghostly balsamic greens here. If I use this, does this get me up to seven? No, it's still six. And for whatever reason, it also lowers my actual balsamic antimatter, which is really weird. How that works but that's how it works and I'm not I mean I guess I <laughs> it's just it's just a big debate happening in my mind right now like should I try to go for that I mean maybe just because of this episode maybe no but then how could I fill up the rest of this episode I feel like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the plunge it's I mean, it's not the most, it's not really the most, <laughs> this doesn't feel like a big reset, but maybe it will be a big reset. And also, this is reduced by 5 billion times. Maybe that's just, I've, this is, this upgrade's weird. But also, I have 7 starting upgrades plus the 12th one, so I feel like it'll actually be a little faster. A little faster. That's... That's like my disclaimer. It's it's not gonna be like the most fast thing ever. Also, I could you know just try to grind this enough times that to just try to see if I can actually get this to be seven higs instead of six higs. Like this is a real strategy. I'm not exactly sure what the threshold to get seven higs is, but it's probably possible actually maybe maybe it's i don't know I, I was i was theorizing that it was maybe like the logarithm of the level of this but the logarithm of the level of this right now is 7.8 and i mean i guess i can get it to 100 million but i don't think that's going to make an actual difference in how many higgs i'm going to get from this yeah well the logarithm does give me more starting upgrades so at least at the very least, that's going to give me the 8th starting upgrade, which is definitely something, but I'm really torn. I guess I'm just going to grind for like one more minute here and see if I can just try to... Or maybe I'll grind it out until I run out of Infinity Bosonic Runes, and then just see how... Or just, just, just see if I can pick up that 7th Hig Boson. And while, while I'm waiting, I guess I can just, like, Ghostify. I mean, I don't see much else. I mean, Ghostifying, I don't see why it could not be useful at this point. So, I'll do it. Okay, I have ran out of of Infinity Balsonic Runes, and I'm still at 6 Higgs. So, I guess I'll just deal with that. I can, I'm now up to E1808 Ghost Particle, so I guess that's something... So I'm just going to Ghostify and then reset Bosonic Lab. So here we go. Everything's reset, but we have now nine of the upgrades, which I hopefully it will do something. Like you can see I'm already up to E75 quadrillion antimatter, and I'm probably, I'm guessing, well, okay, I can, I can wake up the Antiprion Ghost immediately. And then I'm already up to 14 radioactive decays, which is a good sign. This means I'm going to get... A lot of bosonic watts which means that hopefully I'll be able to extract runes faster I mean at least the first three are gonna take like 25 seconds rather than like three minutes because it's obnoxious when it takes three minutes I'm also figuring out the formula for this it's it, the soft cap is e60 bosonic antimatter which means that I think normally it would like it was it was at E48 before, which I'm guessing each Higg boson, Higgs boson, not not Hig, Higgs boson, increases this like start of a soft cap by essentially two orders of magnitude of bosonic antimatter. So if I want to get the last upgrade, I need 
30 Hex Bosons. So I still have a little ways to go. This is telling me, I mean, I actually heard that the last upgrade is impossible to reach without an exploit. So I will, I will not use the exploit until it's at the point where you basically need the exploit to progress. So anyway, I'm up to 15 radioactive decays and um, 115 rewards, and I'm doing pretty good with with photons. So I think what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna grind this off camera. It's again, it's just really it's really annoying how this works. It is noticeably faster than last time though. It's I mean it's not like it's fast by any means, but it's definitely faster. Like this is probably the speed that it should have been maybe like the second or third like or like maybe the second time I did the Higgs reset. But I I mean yeah, I, I I'll just deal with it. These upgrades are not in yeah, they're they're very far away and you've seen this part enough. So, yeah, I, I'm just, I think I'm just going to end the episode here. Next episode, hopefully I will just climb my way back up and hopefully reach this upgrade by next episode, which seems like a really, seems like a pretty powerful upgrade because the, tr the Tree of Decay, or maybe it's not as powerful as it was before, but boosting these upgrades by over double times, yeah, that, that sounds powerful. So, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.